Good evening. It's currently the 28th of November, and we're coming to you live from TLC40 at Tundra Space Center. A few days ago, we launched ESAP3, and we had the first E2 booster being serviced for the first ever rideshare mission at Elixir. This will be the third flight of the same E2 booster, which we plan to reuse for a record five more flights. This mission will carry three separate payloads, which will be placed in high carbon orbit. All three payloads are classified, and therefore we cannot get into specific details regarding the satellite's purpose or design. Second stage locks load complete. On our rocket, E2, the first stage will be used to push the second stage up to a reasonable altitude where the two stages separate. The first stage will land on our drone ship over 100 kilometers downrange, while the second stage powers onto its asteroid. First stage locks load complete. Strong back retract. Shortly, you'll see the rocket lifting off the pad and starting its journey into space. Let's listen in to Mission Control for now. ETO's internal computers and in startup. E2 pre launch checks nominal. E2 terminal count. Scorpion SL sensors nominal. Just about 30 seconds here, let's listen in to the final go no go poll. Mission Director, go for launch. Scorpion SLS engine bleed. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One ignition lift off and lift off. The first ever rideshare right mission for Elixir expanding the capacity of space flight. There's a call for max Q where the E2 reaches its maximum aerodynamic pressure climbing through the atmosphere of Kerbin. Miko. Stage set. Second stage engine ignition. The stage will now be heading to target it in the target orbit. Our next major event is the payload fairing separation in and the boost back there.
Boost back when shut down. And there is Fang Deploy. Fang Deploy. That just protects the uh, payload as we climb. First and the second stage trajectories look good. You heard the call, first and second stage trajectories look good. Signal commuter to pass over. Seeker, second engine cutoff. And Seeker. Seeker. Well, I'm going to enter a short coast phase, and we'll be back as soon as our vehicle reaches apoapsis in about 40 minutes. We'll see you soon. Stage your entry bin stop. Face stage your entry bin shut down. Face stage trajectory looks good. Landing main start. Landing like deploy. E2 has landed. Recovery operators move in to secure vehicle at 11.100.1. And we're back after our coast phase. The second stage is currently lining up for its orbital insertion burn, and we're going to begin that very shortly.
orbital insertion bin start. And there's the uh, orbital normal insertion orbital bin. insertion. That concludes it for today's webcast. Unfortunately, we cannot show you payload deployment, which will be coming up in around 20 minutes. The uh, webcast footage in the top right did bug out there, but we are uh, actually going a lot faster than expected. So uh, thank you for coming along to this launch, and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now, Alexa.